what is ratio? Ratio? Kanang gamiton kung maminaw kag balita? Ratio? What is proportion? Proportion? Kanang gamiton kung magdungka kag katil? Proportion? No, that's not try. Proportion is the equality of two ratios, while ratio is the comparison of two quantities. Usually class, ratio and proportion is written in fraction form. Proportions are used in comparing lengths of segments. Unknown segments can be solved using proportions. But class, in solving proportions, you need to rewrite first the proportion in order to solve that particular segment. So today, you're going to learn the different properties of proportions so that you're going to use that one in solving problems. Here you go, watch this video. Now, these are the different properties of proportions. First, means extremes product law. This law tells us that in any proportion, the product of the means equals to the product of the extremes. Thus, if A is to B equals C is to D, then AD equals BC. Often, we call this law as cross-multiplication. For example, number 1. 1 is to 2 equals to 1 or 5 is to 10. So, if we're going to multiply this one, the extremes, 1 times 10 and 5 times 2, then they are equal to each other. 10 equals 10. Next example, 3 over 4 equals 5, 15 over 20. So, if we're going to cross multiply them together, 3 times 20 is 60 and 4 times 15 is still 60. Next one, invert both sides law or inversion method. This law tells us that in any proportion may be changed into an equivalent proportion by inverting each ratio. Thus, given A over B equals C over D, then B over A is equal to D over C. For example, given 1 over A equals 4 over 5, then if we're going to invert 1 over A into A over 1, then it is still equal to the inver inverted form of 4 over 5, which is 5 over 4. Another example, if 2 over 3 equals 4 over 6, then if we're going to invert 2 thirds into 3 halves, and if we're going to invert 4 over 6 into 6 over 4, then they are still equal or equivalent to each other. Third law, switch means switch extremes law or alternation method. This proportion may be changed into an equivalent proportion by interchanging the means or, or by interchanging the extremes. Thus, given A over B equals C over D, then A over C equals B over D, or exchange them, D over B equals C over A. For example, given if A over 3 equals B over 2, then we exchange A over B is just equal to 3 over 2 or 2 thirds equals B over A. Another example, if 1 half is equal to 3 over 6, then if we're going to interchange the means, so it will be 1 third equals to 2 thirds or if we're going to alternate 3 over 1 equals 6 over 2. Still, these proportions are equivalent. Next law, 
denominator addition law. A proportion may be changed into an equivalent proportion by adding terms in each ratio to obtain new first and third terms. Thus, given A over B equals C over D, then if you're going to add a number, then A plus B equal over B equals C plus D over D. For example, if 1 half equals 3 over 6, then if you're going to add the denominator on the numerator like 1 plus 2 equals 2, a 1 plus 2 over 2 equals 2 plus 6 over 6, they are still equivalent proportion because they are equal. Let us check. So 3, this is 3 halves, equals to 8 over 6. And if you're going to cross multiply them together, the answer is 16 and 16. So it is still proportional or equivalent proportion. Next example, if 2 thirds equals to 4 over 6, then 2 plus 3 equals... 2 plus 3 over 3 equals to 4 plus 6 over 6. So let's try to check. So this is 5 over 3 equals to 10 over 6. And if we're going to use the first law, which is the cross multiplication law, so that's 5 times 6, that is 30, and it is equal to 30 as well. So they are still an equivalent proportion. Next law. Denominator Subtraction Law A proportion may be changed into an equivalent proportion by subtracting terms in each ratio to obtain new first and third terms. Thus, given A over B equals C over D, then the same with the last law, which is the addition, this time we're going to subtract. A minus B over B equals C o minus D over D. For example, 1 half over 3 over 6, then it is equal to 1 minus 2 over 2 equals 3 minus 6 over 6. Let us check. 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. That's negative 1 over 2 equals negative 3 over 6. Let's try to cross multiply. Well, negative 1 times 6, that is negative 6, and 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6 as well. So, it's equivalent. Next, number 2. If 2 thirds equals 4 over 6, then 2 minus 3 over 3 is equal to 4 minus 6 over 6. Let us check. So, that is negative 1 over 3. And this is 2, negative 2 over 6. And if we're going to cross multiply, then it will become negative 6 equals negative 6. And that is equivalent. Next one, numerator denominator sum law. If a series of equal ratios, the sum of any of the numerators is to the sum of corresponding denominators, as any numerator is to its denominator. For example, thus if A over B equals C over D equals E over F, then if you're going to add all the numerators, A plus C plus E all over all the denominators, B plus D plus F, it is equal to the first ratio A over B. For example, if 1 over 2 equals 3 over 6 equals 4 over 8, then 1 plus 3 plus 4 all over 2 plus 6 plus 8, it is equal to 1 half. Let us check. So, 1 plus 3 plus 4, that is 8, over 2 plus 6 plus 8, that is 16 equals one half and if we're going to cross multiply them together it is 16 equals to 16 which is correct next three term ratio 
if any of three terms of one proportion is equal to the corresponding three terms of another proportion, the remaining terms are equal. Thus, if a over b equals c over d and a over 4 equals c over d, then we could conclude that b is equal to 4. Examples Number 1. If x over y equals a over b and x over y equals to 2 over b, we could conclude that a is 2. Next, geometric mean. The geometric mean x of two numbers a and b is the positive square root of their product. That is, if a over x equals x over b, then we could tell that x is equal to square root of a times b. For example, if 2x is equal to x over 50, then x is equal to the product of the, the square root of the product of 2 times 50. Thus, x is square root of 100 and x is 10. That is all for now for the properties of equivalent proportions class and you are now ready to answer the formative assessment. Thank you and God bless.